following screencast will provide a demonstration of the acknowledged seizure detection utility. The system will automatically identify and score seizures using a spike frequency method. The system will allow the user to create certain rules and time windows that are used to determine how many spikes occurred within each epic. And based upon the user rules, the system will classify whether a seizure occurred within a particular epic. The results of the analysis are output to a spreadsheet, a journal file, and can also be displayed as new waveforms. The first waveform shows the frequency of the spikes that were detected, seizure spikes that is, and the second channel will identify whether a seizure occurred within a particular epic. So here we have an EEG file that was recorded from a rat uh, using a telemetry system and this is looking at about 30 seconds of data. If we compress everything down we can now see now we're looking at approximately one hour. The two channels are identical. I duplicated um, the, the channel so that we can run a difference calculation on it because in order to determine where the spikes are, the epileptic seizures, we need to be able to um, set some rules. So the first thing we do to start off with is run a difference. And I'm going to use eight samples here. So now we've got a difference channel down here so this sort of exaggerates where these episodes are occurring and it allows us to set a threshold for identification. The actual analysis itself is located under the EEG menu and is labeled seizure analysis. I'm going to run the analysis on channel 1 which contains the raw signal. Now here the software is going to perform a difference similar to the one that we ran down here, only we won't see the result of the output unless we choose this option here. I'm not going to worry about that because I've already done it. The reason I did it earlier is so that I can set a threshold for detecting the seizure spikes. And if we look over here, we can see a threshold of 40 is going to pick a number of them. So I'm going to adjust this value to 40. We then have um, the option for setting the time epic width. And you can set this to any time period you want. I'm going to leave it set to 10 seconds and I can increase or decrease the number of spikes that are required within a 10 second time epic before the epic is classified as containing a seizure. Down below I have options for analyzing the entire graph and outputting focus areas for seizure intervals. I'll come back to this one in a minute. Um, and then we can output events for seizure intervals. And I'll do that at this point. So I'm going to hit OK. So what the software has done, it's gone through and it's put an event mark in to identify each of the spikes that met our detection criteria. So here, this particular spike crossed our threshold of 40, so did this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, so on and so forth. Now if we compress our data back down again, down here, this new channel gives me a count of the number of seizure spikes that were detected as you run from time zero out to the end of your file. The fourth channel, this is supposed to indicate when a seizure occurred or when a seizure met our classification criteria. 
and as you can see this is set to zero. So if we go back to our analysis dialog box, we had set this up so that we needed to identify 20 spikes within a 10 second window in order for the software to classify the epic, epoch as containing a seizure. So if I reduce this down to five and we run the analysis again, Now we can see down below, these are the two new channels. So the actual spike count hasn't changed because we use the exact same detection threshold, but the channel identifying when a seizure occurred or if a seizure occurred is now showing a one at certain points. And the one indicates that a seizure was evident within that time epic or multiple time epics. Down below, this was the first run where we looked for 20 spikes within a 10 second period. This is our second run where we reduced the number of spikes that had to be identified within the 10 second period. And then the software reports for each epic. So here's the first 10 seconds, and then all the way through, no spikes counted, therefore there was no seizure identified. If we scroll down, Seven were counted here, and that means that a one is placed in the um, seizure identification column. You can see here are some others. Okay, so that gives you a quick run through. The next part I'm going to demonstrate will show, and I'm going to delete out some of these channels. So now we're back to where we started. We've got our raw EEG, we've got our difference channel down below. Go into the analysis menu, select EEG and seizure analysis. Analyze channel one. Now I'm going to ask the software to output focus areas. And we'll do the same again. Now we've created the focus areas. I've turned on the focus area menu and the channel uh, measurement option. If we come into the uh, measurement options, there's one down here, event count. When you open this one up, it will ask you for the event type and the spikes are identified as uh, stim response type. That's what the little check box is on there. And I'm going to count how many there are in um, on the um, measurement channel only. And I can select channel one. If I set this, so in the first epic, there were 12 recognized. The second one, seven, 14, 13, six, 
so on and so forth. So you can perform different types of measurements very quickly just based on the areas that contain an epoch. So that concludes this demonstration of the Acknowledge EEG seizure analysis routine.